Hey everyone, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today, I'm going to be showing you, I can't even see my hands, but how I do my nails. Um, if you don't know, I am in cosmetology school, so I go to school to know how to do this, but I'm going to be showing you how to do your own acrylic nails at home if you don't want to go and pay to get them done at a salon. I haven't gotten mine done since I started cosmetology school, so since July. For like eight months now i haven't gotten my nails done by anyone i've been doing them myself i'll pop up a couple pictures of nails that i've done on myself and on other people i took my nails off this morning i had my valentine's day nails on still and it's after valentine's and they were very grown out so i wanted to redo them i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do yet i have been doing like the rounded almond shaped nails but i think I'm gonna go back to coffin nails. First, we're gonna start out and I am going to tell you guys all of the necessary products that you'll need. And I'll tell you where I got mine from and I'll link them down below and all that kind of stuff. Ugh, I keep, oh my gosh. I keep all my stuff in this suitcase. Um, I got this suitcase from the cosmetology school. This is what all of our stuff came in. Um, like our hair stuff, not our nail stuff. They didn't give us a whole lot of nail stuff because uh, the nail tech class gets more stuff for nails than the cosmetology class does, but we did get a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, show you like the necessities that you will absolutely need. Okay, so first of all, I have all my necessities and a couple other things in this little uh, like Tupper type thing I don't really know it connects by the sides I got it at Dollar General and it came with three of them for ten dollars so I bought two of them so I spent twenty dollars and then the other two I think the handles broke so I had to throw those away but right now I only have four connected on there but we'll go level by level so in the top one I have my like like my ne necessary what am I trying to say my supplies i don't know like you'll 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 understand what i mean so in this top one i have my liquid monomer which if you don't know what that is it's the liquid that turns the powder into an acrylic like you need the liquid to do acrylics so i have this i just use the mia secret liquid monomer i get it my mom got it for me from amazon and then i have my brush cleaner which is actually almost empty i need to go get more but this is just the, the Beauty Secrets nail brush cleaner, and I just got it from Sally's, so. And then I have my nail glue that I'm using at the moment. This is just the Super Strong Nail Bond NYK1 Professional. I don't know. Mom got it from Amazon. Mom got it from Amazon, too, so I have that in there. And then I have two different sets of these, a pH, pH Bond and Pro Bond. Um, these ones are Mia Secret, and these ones are Gelish. I got these in my kit at school, and then I got these off of Amazon. Um, you need these to dehydrate and prep your nails. So these are a big necessity if you want your nails to stay on, or you can use like rubbing alcohol or something, but I like using the actual pH bond and pro bond. I have my Dappen dish, which is just the dish that you put the liquid, the liquid monomer in. So you need some sort of little dish. And then I have my cuticle oil. Lastly, in the top one, I just have my acrylic powder i ha i keep it in this small harmony professional nail sculpting powder powder little tub but that's not what's in this this is in this is the, the mia secret acrylic powder and clear but i just keep it in this small one so it's easier to put in my kit and then i keep the bigger one at home and then i just refill it whenever i need it that is what's in the top one and you're going to need all of those things you don't necessarily need a cuticle oil unless you want your cuticles to look nourished but you will and you don't necessarily need a brush cleaner but it saves my life because i do be forgetting to take the acrylic off of the brush so that's what's in the first one in my second one i have first of all i have all of my swatches <laughs> that's what you call them for makeup i don't i don't know if that's what you actually call them for nails but it's basically just like the circles that has all of my like gel powders and dips on it so people know what colors i have and then this is like my tool section basically so i have two of these cuticle cutters i have a buffer a file i really need more files i have two cuticle pushers i have my acrylic brush that used to be so cute and pink and diamondy and now i got monomer all over it so the pink paint is coming off which is really sad but this is just 
the Shine Chance, the number 8 brush. Mom got it off Amazon. I'm probably going to order another one since the pink is coming off. I have these like little scissors that you can use for either your cuticles if you're doing a, I think it's called a Russian man manicure where you like completely clip the cuticle all the way off or I use them to like shape, help shape the actual nail itself. Then I have this extra brush that I use to just like wipe off any like dust after I get done filing them. Then I have some tweezers for when I'm placing like rhinestones or something. I've got, these are toenail clippers because my fingernail clippers broke but I have clippers in here. And then the nail clipper itself that you use to clip down to what length you want your nails. And then I just have a bunch of bits for my nail drill. I have these and then I also have like the sandpaper bits. I don't know what they're actually called, but um, I like these ones a lot. So. That's in the second one. And then the last two are my dip powders. So I'm not gonna go through those, but these ones just have dip powders in them. So the nails that I use are these. I don't know what the name is because it doesn't have a brand on them, but I just got them from Amazon and they're just clear nail tips. I really like clear nail tips. I have a set of white nail tips too, just in case someone wants to do like a white French tip. It's easy to do just these tips. Or if I run out of these, then I can use these as backups. But I really like clear nail tips a lot. Oh, and all of my tools that I just showed you, like the nail clippers and like all of those, the cuticle clippers, the scissors, I got all of those in my kit at cosmetology school. But you can find them literally anywhere. Amazon, Sally's, Cosmoprof. You can also find like cheaper ones at like Walmart so you could get them anywhere if you really need them and then my next thing I'm going to show you is my nail drill you don't necessarily have to use a nail drill but I find it way 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 easier than just hand filing nails and filing takes forever but this is mine it's the Medicools Turbo File 2 I got it at Sally's or Cosmoprof I don't remember Actually, I think I got it at Cosmoprof. You have to have a cosmetology license or an apprenticeship license to shop at Cosmoprof, but you don't for Sally's. And usually Sally's has everything that Cosmoprof has. It just is usually a little bit cheaper at Cosmoprof. I literally do my nails like anywhere. Like I'm literally sitting on my bed right now. You can do them anywhere you want. At a table, sitting in your bed like I am on the floor. Like I do them literally anywhere. If I'm gonna do someone else's, I'll find a nicer place to set them up. But since I'm just doing them on myself and it's like right here, I can do it like anywhere I want to. Um, I do, however, like to put like a towel or something over me if I don't feel like getting the shavings all over me because there usually is quite a bit, but I'm not going to right now because I'm probably gonna end up washing this sweatshirt. But yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm going to show you what my nails look like right now. This is what my nails look like right now. They look really ratchet because I just took off my old nails. So. so basically the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nail drill. You don't want to use a nail drill on your natural nails for very long, but um, you can always um, like hand file them with an actual file, but my file is very dull right now, so I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to take... Um, a nail bit that won't be super harsh on my nails. You want one that's like this um, or like one that looks like the sandpaper ones but I can't find my attachment for the sandpaper ones. But you want one that's not going to be super rough on your nails and basically I'm just going to start by filing my natural nail to get it rough so that the fake nail will stick to it. Okay, there are basically four steps to doing your nails. First, you want to prep your natural nail, and then the next step is the nail application, like the nail tip application, and like shaping it and all that kind of stuff, and then the acrylic application, and shaping, and then painting them. It does take me quite a while when I'm braiding my own nails because it just does. There's no other way to say it. So basically, I'm just going to clip my nails. And I think everyone knows how to clip their nails. So I'm just going to skip through this part. Okay, so I clipped my fingernails. And now this is the prep part. So basically what we're going to do is you want to either use nothing. You can use nothing if you want to, if you don't have anything. So either um, just push back your cuticles or put on cuticle oil first and then push them back or cuticle remover and push them back. And then we're going to clip them off. So we're gonna do that. I'll bring you guys out here so you can see. So I'm gonna use this. Um, it's the Gelish Nourish, which is like cuticle oil, like I said.
basically what this does is soften your cuticle so it's easier to push them back. Now I'm going to take my cuticle pusher and I'm going to push my cuticles back. We'll skip through this part. It's pretty self-explanatory. We're back. I clipped my cuticles. As you can tell, there's none there anymore. Um, I also clipped like the little like I don't know what they're called. They're not really my nails, but they're not really a cuticle. Like the little things that you get on the side of your nails, I clipped those too. And now we're ready for the application. We get our nails and we find which one fits our nail the best. I like to apply my glue directly to my nails. Some people do it to the fake nail, but I like to do it, put the nail directly, put the glue directly on my real nail and then put the tip on top. The tip on top so it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all my nails and then I'll be back. Ooh, golden hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, everyone, we have nails on both hands. As you can see, these ones are cut and shaped and these ones are not. So basically, all I do is I take this thing and I clip them down to the length I want. Okay, and then I either take my scissors or my uh, actual like nail clippers and I like clip the sides so they slant it in a little bit like coffin nails are. Now that the sides are clipped, you see, I'm just gonna go through and file them so they all end up looking straight and clean like that. <laughs> Okay, we changed angles because it was getting dark outside, so I needed to get my ring light out. Okay, so what I just did was I filed down the fake nail to blend it into my real nail more so that it'll stay better. Also, I forgot to apply my pH bond and my pro bond before I put my nails on. So that's a step you need to do. I also do it before I apply my acrylic, so that's fine. So we'll do it right now. You wanna do pH bond. For the acrylic, we want our acrylic powder, our monomer, our dish and our brush. <gasps> I just spilled my powder everywhere. So it's not the most ideal setup, but I don't want to move. So you want to dip your brush in the monomer, get the air bubbles out, flatten it, and then you dab it in the powder three times to make a little bead. Then you want to start, you can really start anywhere. I start kind of in the middle my nail and flatten it and smooth it you don't want to really use brush strokes you kind of want to just dab it all the way up to the tip of your nail should look like that and then you want to go back and do the same thing at the base of your fingernail i have all of the acrylic applied onto my nails and emma came in my room my roommate came in my room to talk to me so you didn't really get to see a whole lot of that but i probably was going to cut it off soon anyways but I have all the acrylic applied and I'm just going to take my drill with the same nail bit that we used earlier and file them down so that they're not lumpy. I lay them flat enough to where it's not super, super lumpy, but I like to just get them as smooth as possible. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> drilled down I'm gonna file them to make the shape crisp and clean and then all we have to do is paint them so I'll be back after I'm done filing okay so I uh, filed them and shaped them and now I just put a base coat on both of them I hadn't decided what I was gonna do yet but I'm watching High School Musical 2 and uh, Sharpay's dress when they go golfing that's lime green and pink kind of inspired me so I think I'm gonna do a lime green and pink now but not 100% sure what I'm gonna do yet but I will show you whenever I'm finished with them all right well that took me way longer than it needed to and the last clip that you saw I said I was gonna do something green and pink and I didn't I, I did it and then I hated it so I took it off 
and now they're blue and sparkly. I don't love them, but I didn't want to take the polish off again, so that's what we are going with. And that is how I do my nails at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next one.